can be stated that a devotee is in a relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead in one of five different ways. Mm. Everybody knows this five. I read it? Read it. One may be devoted in a passive state, one may be a devotee in an active state, one may be a devotee as a friend, one may be a devotee as a parent, and one may be a devotee as a conjugal lover. <coughs> Understand? When your soul will become friend, your spiritual identity will become friend, a mother, this is the devotional practice. This mood will become your devotional practice to fix your form. Right or not, Mahārāja? He says sarup after that, right? Mm -hmm. Sambandha and Sarupa. Read this Sarupa now. Ah. Arjuna was in relationship with the Lord as friend. Of course, there is a gulf of difference between this friendship and the friendship found in the material world. What is the difference? One is physically we relate. And one is a spiritual relation, divine relation. Go on. This is transcendental friendship, which cannot be had by everyone. Of course, everyone has a particular relationship with the Lord, and that relationship is evoked by the perfection of devotional service. I repeat this line. Try to understand. Of course, everyone has a particular relationship with the Lord, and that relationship is evoked by the perfection of devotional service. Devotion means you will perfect in devotion in that form of your relation, then it will be You have to work with that relation to revoke yourself. Go on. Yeah. But in the present status of our life, not only have we forgotten the Supreme Lord, <coughs> but we have forgotten our eternal relationship with the Lord. I forget Him, I forget my soul consciousness, and I forget my relation. Everything becomes not important for me because I am so material, conscious, not material outside, this flash material. <clears throat> I am living in my flash is material. Plastic body is my, my senses, my false ego, my angerness, <laughs> because this is the nature of this material thing. <laughs> you have to accept it. If you live there, you have to accept your suffering. Right? <laughs> what is material thing will give? Accept. No problem. I want to suffer. Forget other your car, motor and other things. You this material thing. Yeah. Every living being. Living being, not this flesh. <clears throat> living being is not my flesh. Living being is my soul. Living, so I am being. <laughs> this living makes me be. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if not living, no being. <laughs> it will come just to throw it. <laughs> uh, 
out of the many, many billions and trillions of living beings, has a particular relationship with the Lord eternally. Read. That is called Swarupa. You see, Maharaj said just now, and Prabhupada is confirming Swarupa. What is mean Swarupa, you know? Huh? Your original form. Relation. Form. Form means, Sarup means form. Physical form I see, but I don't know my spiritual form. By devotional practice, if I am a friend, my nature will be take the one form, like a subal form or some friend form of Krishna. And I will start playing with Krishna in all circumstances of my life, or not. If I am born to be a mother of Krishna, I want to be a Putana or Deviki or Jasuda. I, ha I have to decide this, right? And from that way, I will follow Mother Jasuda. And I will practice that mood. That is Raganuga, right? That, the form when I will develop, then my raga, prema bhakti will start. Then I will not ask any material thing. I will want you. You are mine. I am yours. What to ask from you? Why to ask? You are mine. I have to care you. Oh, I am yours. You care me. We take care of each other. This is Vrindavan. Right? But Radhika more, she said, You are me. You do or not do. I will do for you because you are mine. This is a relation, right? <coughs> I don't want any things from you. I want that you become happy. You be happy, I will be happy to see your happiness. If you are happy in Dwaraka with the 16,000 queen, I am happy by suffering and crying for you because your happiness is my happiness. I cannot feel that any time you feel pain. I don't want that. For that I can go to the hundred times hell, take my dust and give to Krishna to put, make medicine for Krishna. That is the goal of That is relation. Right? Ki bhalo katha, na? Bangla bolte to aro misti hoji. Hoche. She understand all Bangla. Mm, so I say you. <laughs> By the process of devotional service, one can revive that Swarup. And that stage is called Swarupa Siddhi. I show you some Mahajan of Sarup Siddhi. I remember one story of Prabhupada. He went to America, nobody knows him, with six dollars, right? Mm -hmm. And he creates so many things. What is the behind reason? Siddhi. That Siddhi makes him so empowered that all Riddhi Siddhi start dancing near to him. All energy <coughs> moving. One 
more Mahajan I show you. Bhakti Puri Maharaj. Sridhar Maharaj. Bhakti Baba Puri Maharaj. One story I know of Bhakti Baba Puri Maharaj. I listen Paramadwati Maharaj is telling. One time Bhakti Baba Puri Maharaj was in Delhi in Chaitanya Gauriya Mission. And he became very sick there. And he was alone there. And he was sick, no helper was there. This story is 85 or something. So, you know, Paramadati Maharaj went there. He said one day, just feelings. He said, he brings some medicine and this. He said, Maharaj, you are alone sleeping. He said, no, anyone is there. <clears throat> and no money was there in his pocket. <clears throat> to arrange some money, he said, I have no money to bring some medicine. <laughs> and Maharaj know that he will not accept anyone. He was so renounced. So he idly he put hundred euro in the under the bed of the Maharaj pillow. He said me. And he arranged all medicine and everything and he put some massage and this and he do seva. Means he was simple life doing bhajan, right? And now you see when Sarup Siddhi came, what happened? Everyone starts running to him because this is honey. When you realize your Sarup and you fix in that, it becomes honey. What you can do? You are not. You are not doing anything. It's a, it's a, it's a mercy of Sarup because of that relation everything is happening. This is the Krishna who doing this. And he say himself, after five, ten years, I see so miracle. <coughs> he both his story, he said to me, to, what is the meaning behind that? I see Bhakti Puri Maharaj, because Chaitanya Gauri Amat is very near to me. He was doing puja there. Sometimes sitting and writing in the 65, 70, I say 55. Normal. In Vrindavan, that time was nothing, you know? 55, 60. And by bhajan. Why bhajan is important, my dear? Bhajan is important to realize your spiritual identity. Without that you cannot feel it. The, the, the realization cannot come to you. No, not, nothing. You cannot feel anything. Divine vision cannot come without bhajan. I cannot improve my mistakes. I cannot understand myself. Because reason is a bhajan and ahetaki kripa, saintly mercy of the sadhus, so mercy of the Vaishnava, and faith in Gurudev. <coughs> this works in life. And see Narayan Maharaj? I know Narayan Maharaj because he's from Bihar. I know him. He was just like a uh, normal uh, sannyasi living in the ashram. He was even nothing but his bhajan, his realization, hmm. his sarup siddhi. He was so fixed in his 
bhajan that he brings there. So bhajan and realization, sambandha is important. This is the essence. You see our three Goswamis. Sanatana Goswami is the come to give sambandha gya. Without all books based on three things. Sambandha, Avidya and Pariyojan. One is Sanatan Goswami, one is Rupa Goswami and one is Raghunath Das Goswami. If you have a Sambandha, what you will do? You automatically become Avidya. Your spiritual and physical identity, you can feel it. <coughs> No need to read any place, you can realize. And that realization can come by bhajan only. Does make a relation from, from your soul? Yeah, you can feel the, your form, inner form and physical form. You can distance yourself or not. In, in one, two is two. My spiritual form is something and relation is something and physical form and relation is something. What is important? <clears throat> Slowly, what will become important? Material or spiritual? You test one time, it will become nothing. You will behave, but you have no interest in that. Because we have no sambandha, we have no asthai bhava. I am not fixed one place. We jump in. Or we stay there. Sambandha make asthai bhava. Hmm? Asthai, you know? Yes. Fixed. Yes. Sambandha make you fixed. Or not, Maharaj? Sambandha make fixed. If there is no relation, and how you will fix? You don't know your sorrow, how you can fix yourself? Then how you will know what is Raga Bhakti? Is a step, you cannot jump. You will fall now. Without your spiritual identity, how you can enter to understand Chaitanya? <coughs> Chaitanya means consciousness. How is consciousness? Chaitanya means consciousness. And if you are not Chaitanya in yourself, you cannot understand Chaitanya. Gaur na hoito, keman hoito. If Gaur, Gauranga is not appearing, what is going to happen in my life? Keman dharitam de. De means not physical body, it is there. It's spiritual there, it's spiritual body. My relation with that. Kemon dharitam is spiritual body. How I am going to expect, accept myself who I am and what is my relation with Krishna? What is relation with so many? Kemon dharitam is it? And Radharaso Mahima, how I will understand that Radha's rasa, you cannot, impossible, in this gross body. You <clears throat> cannot serve anyone in male consciousness to female. It will be a prat. Five female can change the dress privately close. But one male, if his husband, they will not change. 
why? And this body is a male consciousness. If it is a female body, a male body is a male consciousness. Because the nature of enjoyment is there. And nature of enjoyment is a female consciousness. And this enjoyment nature will only come, my spiritual identity can get it. So this soul is a prakriti. My physical identity is a purusha. <laughs> <It's a shame. laughs> and when I am a purusha, I want to enjoy it, then enjoyer is far from me. <laughs> He's far. He cannot come near to you. Why? Why he will come to fight that I am enjoyer? He say, okay, you enjoy <laughs> and suffer in your life. So enjoyer is, because of my ignorance, he is far from me. You but become enjoyed, he will come to you. <coughs> then you will say, no, 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 I don't need, I want to take shelter of Swamini and live in the service of Swamini. I don't faith you, my dear. You go <laughs> of your way. I will be with Sarvani in the service of Swamini. Because she is merciful and she will give me shelter. These are the Raga Bhakti, right? I give you a little hint, you know, how we can go in Raga. Raga, Raga, but we are Raga Nuga, right? No, no, we are not Raga Nuga, we are Rupa Nuga, right or not? We are Raga Nuga, Rupa Nuga, Rupa Nuga. <laughs> now is the difference in Raga Nuga and Rupa Nuga. That next day, Maharaj will bring me, I will explain you. <laughs> but his essence, he said, Sambandha, please, my dear, my request, don't forget Mansinga Maharaj word. Sambandha, Saru, and Rag Bhakti. You cannot enter without your Saru in Rag Bhakti. Right. <coughs> 